Saturday night, your local movie? Not quite. It's the interior of the Boeing 747, the largest, most luxurious passenger airplane ever. Its tail as tall as a five-story apartment house. The 350-ton craft is nearly double the size of today's huge jet. These films of a realistic but small model hardly do it justice. But they'll have to do since the first actual 747 won't be ready until later this summer. The problems in getting it ready were and are enormous. A remote site hacked out of the forest is the Superjet's birthplace. Near Everett, Washington, on a plot about as big as New York Central Park, workmen began by putting up a manufacturing complex larger than the one needed for the gigantic Saturn rocket at Cape Kennedy. That was five years ago. Since then, computers have spewed out over 200 billion different pieces of information on the complex project. In a central office, wall after wall was covered with evidence of the precise coordination that was necessary to get the job done. A railroad track had to be laid after the rugged terrain was cleared of timber just to bring supplies to the isolated construction area. The arrival of the first train was celebrated with as much ceremony and excitement as the meeting of iron horses from east and west a century ago. A full-size mock-up reveals the vast cabin. There'll be 375 seats, double the capacity of any plane now in service. It's envisioned that passengers will be able to telephone in flight or receive calls from the ground. For veteran flyers, a reminder of the very first transoceanic plane. The 747 is a two-decker, a chance to stretch one's leg. Upstairs, a series of lounges. Fifteen stewardesses will be on hand. Among their extra services, supplying latest stock market quotations. And despite all these new features, fares won't go up. In fact, because of the 747's operational economy, the price of a ticket will probably be lower than it is now. In the May Reader's Digest, this article, one of more than 30 in the issue, tells that even before the building site was finished, Pan American World Airways expressed its faith in the project by placing the first order for the new jetliners. Other carriers followed suit, and Boeing's gamble had been won. More than 50,000 people from 49 states and six foreign countries helped create the 747. Despite tight deadlines, flight tests this fall and regular service next year are on schedule, a feat that has earned the workers their proud name. To imagine the almost incomprehensible size of the Superjet, think of it this way. The entire Wright Brothers' first flight could have taken place in about half the length of its cabin. A revolution in air travel is upon us.